Well, they say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but in 1949, Lyle resident Lois Bellman tells us it was a different kind of diamond that caught her attention. Known as Punky, Bellman played in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. A recent event at Cantini Park brought back some memories for this baseball pioneer. NCTV 70's Holly Roadruck has her story. That's me. The women's baseball teams were organized by league owners during World War II, when their male ball players let the diamonds for the battlefields. More than 600 women took their places, playing for teams such as the Rockford Peaches and the Racine Bells. Punky was a utility player for the Chicago Colleens for the 1949 season. When we played in skirts, we would practice, and we would slide into a base, who oh, that would hurt. Better a bruise than long pants, eh, gals? Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. It didn't matter to me one way or another. If you want to cry, cry. You know? Women like Punky are being honored here at Cantini Park. Organizers kicked off the summer movie series with the film A League of Their Own, which tells their story. Reenactor Rebecca Tullock enjoys taking the field as a Rockford peach. It's a lot of fun because you can read about something in a history book, but it's another thing to put the clothes on. And it's amazing when you put the clothes on, you, you do feel like you step back in time a little bit. Girls can play ball! But for former ball players like Punky... Yes, they can. They can do anything a guy can do. Sometimes better. If it wasn't for Punky and others like her, Whoa. women like Rebecca may not share what brings them all together, a love of the game. Reporting from Cantini Park, Holly Rodruck, Naperville News 17. Cantini Park will be showing outdoor movies for the rest of the summer. For more information, you can visit cantini.org.